Dear students, good morning and welcome to our introductory class on animal health and disease control. The course description includes principle of zoo hygiene, the zoo hygiene being the science that deals with the effect of hygiene and sanitation on animal production, productivity and products. Also shall be discussed hygiene and sanitation of animal housing, hygiene and sanitation of feeding and animal product handling, good and healthy management practices and the etiology, symptoms, diagnostics, prevention and treatment of livestock diseases of veterinary and public health importance. Our general objective is to master the principles and effects of hygiene and sanitation on animal production, productivity and products. Considering the current landscape of education in Cameroon, Teaching, engagement, and assessment will be done fully online. In order to comfortably follow this course, you need initial competence in ecology, microbiology basics, and ruminant and non-ruminant animal production. After a general introduction, our content shall cover disease and disease agents, hygiene and sanitation of animal housing, hygiene and sanitation of animal feeding and nutrition, hygiene and sanitation of animal products, health management of poultry, health management of pigs, and health management of cattle, sheep, and goats. As general introduction, a disease is a particular abnormal condition that negatively affects the structure or function of all or part of an organism or condition that is associated with specific symptoms and signs. Three major types of diseases do occur. Firstly, we have infectious diseases that are those caused by infectious agents including virus, bacteria, fungi and parasites. For this category, an example to be listed is the Newcastle disease, that is an avian disease caused by a virus named Newcastle and scientifically avian paramyxovirus type 1. Secondly, we have non-infectious or non-communicable disease. These are diseases that are not caused by biological agents and are either caused by metabolic or biochemical agents or mutagens or toxins or poisons. Under this category, we can name uh, aspergillosis. Aspergillosis is a feed and food poisoning caused by a fungi. In fact, what really causes the disease is the toxin secreted by the fungi named Aspergillus flavus are present in grains that are poorly conserved and then used to formulate animal feed. Finally, we have trauma that are either caused by psychological agents, for example, a shock following predator attack or escape from predator, or any physical or chemical injury as it may be the case following an accident or animal fights. 
All right. There is a key concept to master in animal health and disease control here presented in a triangle and named the triangle of disease. Let me emphasize on the fact that this triangle concerns only infectious diseases. All right, so this implies that for a disease to occur in an animal farm, the following three inclusive conditions must be gathered. Inclusive means that if any of these conditions is lacking, there is no disease. Firstly, we have you must have a pathogen. Then we must have favorable environment condition for the pathogen. And finally, we must have a susceptible, susceptible host, that is the animal. Alright, how is this concept exploited in animal health and disease control? To avoid a disease to occur, adequate housing hygiene and sanitation can create an environment free from pathogen. Or if it is not avoidable, or if by mistake the pathogen is there, unfavorable condition can be created so that that pathogen won't have the possibility to multiply and spread. Or finally, when we are in situation where the pathogen is almost always there and the conditions are almost always favorable like is the case for some endemic diseases like for example trypanosomiasis in livestock what strategy can be implemented the farmers or stakeholders can decide to select a breed that is not susceptible that is a breed that is resistant to that particular pathogen for example, in the coastal region of Cameroon or in forest region where there are glossina, that are agents that transmit trypanosomiasis caused by trypanosomia gambiense to cattle, taurine breeds of cattle are resistant and therefore taurine breeds like Bakosi cattle or any other taurines like Ndama can be encouraged to be produced in such zone instead of the common zebu cattle that we have around. Okay, so now let's talk about current issues in animal health and biosecurity. Yesterday, today and tomorrow, Livestock animals have been, are, and will always be good animal models for medical research. Secondly, livestock animals are natural reservoirs and vectors of many diseases of veterinary and public health importance. Thirdly, The misuse of veterinary drugs and poor management of animal health is the cause of food poisoning and non-communicable diseases like cancer, diabetes, head and kidney failure. Fourthly, the use of antibiotics as feed additives and growth promoters are responsible for the development of drug-resistant pathogens of veterinary and public health importance. Fourthly, so is also the case for the use of subtherapeutic doses of antibiotics for disease prevention. Now, Lastly, all these concerns or all these issues have motivated the increasing momentum for organic food chains and ethical issues in animal production. 
Now, dear students, at this juncture, let's move to some specific assignments. So, we are requested to define the following terms. Biological reservoir of diseases, disease vectors, susceptible host, opportunistic host, toxemia, trauma, injury, drug resistance, disease resistance, soft therapeutic dose, growth promoters, and feed additive. And then secondly, after going through the short videos that will be forwarded to you on animal health and related issues, you should produce a written report or content on the following major topics. Topic 1. Animal production and biosecurity. Second, use of antibiotics in animal production. And thirdly, ethics and animal welfare in livestock production. So, attention, each student should produce content or report on the three topics. So, dear students, at the John Show, I want to thank you for your kind attention. And let's see for our next class session.